Well, it's time for us to spend some time in the kitchen. And since it is the last stretch of the holidays and the kids are probably getting ready for the new school year, you probably are running out of things to do with them. So we thought we would help you out. There is nothing better than getting your kids involved in a little baking, encouraging a little bit of maths and the measurements. And of course, there's some creativity involved too. Now, one of our favorite bakers, Grace Stevens, she joins us in studio with her son, Simon, who joins us in the kitchen this morning as we are about to whip up this beautiful caramel roulade. It is super easy to make and it's so easy even the kids can get involved. Good morning, Grace. Morning, Simon. Morning. Oh, it's so lovely to see you. Happy so New Year. Lovely. Thank you Happy so much. New Year. Happy New Year to you too. Simon, how's the school holidays going? It's going good. Are you ready to go back to school? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm not excited, but I... I want to go to school. You want to go back to yeah. school, obviously, to see all the friends. That's yeah. going to be very exciting. Now, Grace, a, a caramel roulade. What is a roulade? So roulade is any sort of thing that's rolled up. Okay. So we're just making a sweet roulade, and so it's just a cake that's rolled up, really. Like a Swiss roll. Exactly. Okay. Your Swiss roll is what everybody knows about a roulade. So you can call this a caramel roll. Roulade is just fancy. It's very fancy. <laughs> we want to kick 2021 off with being fancy. Okay. <laughs> so what do we need to do to start with our roulade? Okay, so we, the sponge is very quick, and this is what's great about baking it with, a, with the kids. It's not going to bake for like half an hour. It's quick, quick. Just a line. Uh, uh, Swiss roll pan with baking paper. Make sure it isn't going to stick because it's a very delicate sponge. And then we're going to start off by making our cake. So you just beat up your eggs until they're nice and pale. Okay. That's what you want. And then you're going to slowly add the sugar into that. Now, Simon, do you often cook with your mom when it comes to baking? Yes. Are you her best little helper? Yes. She's my favorite sous chef. Ooh. <laughs> I love how he follows your instructions so well. Like yeah. Grace said, add it slowly. If, if you had instructed me to do that, all of that sugar would have been in the bowl by now. Okay, <laughs> pour the rest in. Good job. There we go. Yeah, right. So this is the most important part to get a nice light cake. So when that's done, we're just going to remove that. And so this is so easy. I've got my flour and I've got my baking powder. So we can just add this into the eggs. There we go. And then we're just going to fold it in. So slowly fold it in. We've beaten in all that air. We don't want to beat this out again. And then we're just going to turn it out onto our baking sheet. It goes in the oven at 180 degrees for about 12, 15 minutes. Okay. Um, always start at less because it shouldn't come out like crispy it almost. It shouldn't. No. no, it will actually be so blonde that you'll think that it's undercooked. But it's a little, little, little slices of cake. Okay. So that's quite important. And you obviously don't want it to be too crispy because the whole idea of the roulade is we have to roll it. Yes, we do. So okay. you do need to make sure that it is perfect for rolling. Okay. Right. I'm loving the amount of time I'm spending in the kitchen lately. So we have this recipe available for you. It is on our website, expressoshow.com. You can get the steps, the ingredients, and you too can make this caramel roulade lard at home. So now obviously the main ingredient is also our caramel. Yes, so I've got some some caramel. Some, this is just tinned caramel. If you want to make your own caramel, you're most welcome to do that. It just takes so long. Uh, it does, but it's almost like, oh, I think it's just so much fun. So a little bit of icing sugar just stiffens it up a little bit. And of course you just add it to see. It depends. Different tinned caramels are a little bit more loose. So can you see, and you must beat it so that it can be spread. So it's almost like peanut butter. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, when you go to school, what are some of the things you like to have in your lunchbox? Um, peanut butter. Peanut sachets butter. Sachets of peanut butter. Chocolate yeah. you do peanut the butter. Sachets? Yes. Oh, those are quite nice. It's like nice, just like a, get a little bit of an energy boost. Mm -hmm. And Dravos. Yes. I mean, you like the that. Classic. Oh, so you're a snacker. So, in terms of your goals for the year, Simon, is there anything in particular you hope to achieve or you're putting out into the universe? Um, not sure. Not sure. Is there maybe a sports team or a, like, you know, high marks you want to achieve? Uh, a sports team. Which one? Um, so, I want to play hockey. Okay. Hockey is my favorite sport. 
I want to go in like a higher team than before. So that's amazing. maybe like the B team or something. Oh, that's excellent. Well, you know what? It's so important to put these things into the universe, to have your goal, to have your vision board. I can't wait to see you on the hockey team. <laughs> oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> that is amazing. So, Grace, now that we have our caramel with our icing sugar added, it's easy to now spread. It is, and I've made a cake um, earlier. So I'm going to move this here so that our cameras can get a nice view of it. So before your cake is cool, you need to roll it while it's warm. Okay. So you put it straight out the oven onto a dish towel. I normally just um, dust some caster sugar on it and then I roll it up with the towel. Okay, so the towel goes inside. So you roll it up immediately and you don't add the caramel just yet. So no. now this is where you need to be delicate because you have to unroll it. Yes, so you do need to, usually what I do is I, I roll it with the tea towel in the cake and then it unrolls nice and easily. Yeah. And if you let it cool, rolled up like this, then it's not going to crack or anything like that. That's Does this cute. smell good, Simon? Doesn't that? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, the best. But I don't know how you're controlling yourself here, Simon. Yeah. I just want to take that spoon and take one giant Me too. <laughs> scoop and lick. <laughs> so Simon, I'm going to give you the job of making sure that you are going to put every drop of this caramel onto this cake. And I want it all the way to the corners and everything because you don't want to take a bite of just cake. No, you, you want don't. that delicious caramel. You can use the knife that Zoe's got over there. Yeah, you so go. I'm going to hand that you to want. you. So while Simon Thank spreads you. the caramel all over, Grace, I'm assuming we just roll it up, roll it up, cut it up, serve, and that is how the whole family can enjoy this caramel roulade that Grace and her son Simon just showed us how to make. The recipe is available for you. You can find it on our website at expressoshow.com. Simon, you're doing an Excellent job. Thank you. You're welcome. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs>